So how are you doing? I'm Chris with A to B Electric Bikes. Uh, we'll talk here a moment about the A to B Edge, which is our folding bike model. It's a great bike for, say, the urban commuter that doesn't want uh, the size and weight and heft that often comes with a normal bicycle or even electric bicycle. Um, great for somebody that's riding the subway in the morning or riding the train to work. Folds up to about the size of a small travel suitcase. Um, it does feature a 250 watt uh, brushless motor, uh, lithium ion battery, and it does feature two modes of functionality, which means the rider can get on the bike, they can use the throttle if they choose, ride it around like a scooter, or they can use the pedal assist function, which is of course the popular mode of getting around in Europe. And what that does is that kind of helps the rider along as they, uh, as they pedal. Obviously, if you use the pedal assist function, it's going to give you a slightly better range. The more you dip into the throttle, it's going to eat up your range a little bit more. But uh, it's a great bike just for those little short commutes, whether you be taking it on the train, putting it in the trunk of the car, or putting it in the subway. And, uh, you know, overall, it's a lot of fun, too. So, and this is, uh, you know, this has become quickly, it's become a very popular seller for us. Really nice linkages, uh, very similar to what you'd find on a Dehan or a Turn bicycle. Um, you know, just a nice, simple bike to use. We really enjoy it. And over here, we have our A to B Metro, which has really been the flagship of our, our fleet for the past four years. Um, we launched this bike in 2008. Again, it's really designed to be uh, a durable, tough urban commuting vehicle. Um, some of the improvements we've seen happen over the years, uh, specifically, what we've done is we've taken the controller, which used to be housed inside the motor shell itself. We've moved it now to the underside of the bicycle right here. So it's accessible in the same area where you'd access the, uh, the frame battery. Now, this is an alloy construction custom built controller designed, engineered and built in Germany. What we can do with this controller is, with having this custom alloy housing, you get some natural cooling when you're riding the bike, which is just great. It makes sure, it's, it, it makes sure to keep it cool in you know, uh, high pressure situations, whether it be a heavy rider, riding uphill, hot day, what have you. The other nice thing about it is now we have the ability to actually custom program software, drop the controller in and out, and put that software onto the bike fairly, fairly quickly and fairly easily. With this controller and with all of the components, it now speaks, they all speak to each other using the CAN bus protocol. Um, the long term goal here is to give technicians the ability to plug into the bike and uh, run diagnostic codes and error codes if there's ever a problem when they're uh, servicing the vehicle. So, uh, some of the nice little features, of course, include the, the custom built in display, which are going to give you battery state of charge, speed, uh, range, and things of that nature. You turn the bike on with the key here, and with all the A to Bs, uh, it does have custom built-in integrated lights, which feed off the, uh, on this model, they feed off the battery. So that's our A to B Metro. And with the A to B Velocity, this is gonna be a bike that's suited, more well-suited for somebody that might be more into regular cycling. The geometry, again, lends itself to having more efficiency when you're actually pedaling on the bike. Um, while it does have the same top speed as the A to B Metro, which is 20 miles per hour, um, you instantly get that nimble feel when you're riding around on the bike. It really zips, uh, zips around corners and it really hugs the road. It's a lot of fun to ride. It's actually a lot of fun to pedal. Um, it's a pretty easy electric bike to pedal as far as those things go. The major difference being with that bike, with this bike versus the Metro's, it only has the one rear battery that slides onto the back of the bike. Good for maybe the city dweller, somebody wants to park the bike downstairs and then have the portability of the removable battery. Uh, it does also feature an integrated display. The display is operated via RFID key, so you actually take your little key, which is about the size of a quarter, uh, you wave it over the stem and that's how you turn on the bike. And of course it does also feature the integrated LED lighting system similar to what you find on the Metro. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>